Tamai, and welcome to Virtual Lutic Learning. My name is Stasia Hui Stasia Abdahatna Kukuriku. Hi, my name is Stasia. My Lutic name is Kukuriku, which means Lupin. First assignment is really fun. It's super exciting. You get to be creative. You get to use a lot of fun um, artwork and creativity to get it put together. Without further ado, let's get into assignment one. Alutit stun. Kida shli luda alutit stun. So we're going to start off just by learning some basic things. We're going to learn our eyes, nose, and mouth by um, going through um, making a mask. Resources down here, I have colored pencils. You can use you can use crayons, you can use markers, you can use pens, whatever you have. I have tape, I have a glue stick, I also have a stapler if you need that, if you don't have any of the other things. I have scissors, I have a paper plate that we're going to get into here pretty soon on what that will entail, as well as some Sharpies and some string for wrapping it around your face and being able to wear your actual mask. Does anyone know what a lutic is? Is anyone a lutic? Does anyone know anybody who is a lutic? Um, I myself am a lutic. My name is Stasia, and like I said in the beginning, my lutic name is Kukuriku, which means um, lupin. Um, so uh, a lutic is the name of a native Kodiak person. Um, a lutic soon is the name of the lutic people's traditional language. So, Kida shli luda alutit stun. Let's learn alutit stun, or let's learn alutik. All right, everyone, so let's start with our um, eyes, nose, and mouth. Those are all the things that we're going to need to know, all the words that we're going to need to know in order to make an alutic mask. And they're all the words that you need to know to know what is on your face, your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. So let's start with the first thing that I have up here. Hwai ingalakka. Hwai ingalakka. Now, what does that look like it means? I have a drawing up there. That means, here are my eyes. Hwai ingalakka. Hwai ingalakka. All right, next, we're going to do nose. Hwai kangaka. Hwai kangaka. Hwai kangaka. Hwai kangaka. Here is my nose. All right, next, we're going to do mouth. Hwai kanka. Hwai kanka. Hwai kanka. All right, here is my mouth. Hwai kanka. And those are all the bits to making a face or making a mask. All right, a wai taku dwa. We are finished with that part. Let's go on to the next part where is we're actually making the mask. So I want to show you guys a few options in order um, or options to see what kind of mask to make. You can also be creative and use the pieces that um, you have in order to make your own kind of mask. This is the first kind that I um, have. It is drawn by Hannah. I unfortunately do not have the right printer um, ink to print out things, so I just copied it off of her artwork. But this is by Hannah. Um, so this is the first one. Here's the second one. This one is really fun because you can cut up multiple pieces make it super interesting um, and then this one is just the outline and then you can add your own eyes and mouth and nose let's go through all of the steps a mask is called hina hawk hina hawk hina hawk it means face um why hina hawk ha why hina hawk here is my face here is my mask so we are going to decorate this mask. I'm going to decorate this mask. So let's get started. All right. So you should have pieces that are um, drawn out for your nose, your mouth, and your eyes. So I have my eyes, I have my mouth, and I have my noses. All the different kinds um, to make the one that I would like to make. Um, so let's move this down and see if we can show you what I am doing down here. All right, so the first thing is we are going to take um, our eyes. We're going to cut them out with our scissors. I, for this one, I'm going to choose the big circle eyes. So I'm going to cut my piece of paper in half. Make sure to always use safety when you're using your scissors. 
always have a parent beside you when you're doing them so they make sure that you don't cut yourself make sure that your lines are straight but don't don't worry about it if they aren't perfect because they don't have to be perfect they are exactly the way you want them to be if you don't have printer paper if you don't have a printer if you can't print these out or however you can always just draw them with a sharpie I drew these all with a sharpie um, and they are just as good as that um, and it makes it even more fun because you can add your own little twists to it and now why ingalachka why ingalachka here are my two eyes we'll set those aside and let's go into our kangachka noses Kangaka. Kangaka. All right, which nose? I'm going to choose a big nose. I want this one. So I'm going to choose that one. Here is my Kangaka nose. Hwai Kangaka. Hwai Kangaka. All right, and then we're going to cut out the mouth. So let me find all my mouths. I'm going to use this big open one like this. Cut it out. Let's get all of our trash out of the way so it's not in our messing up our area. Let's move all of our things aside and let's get back to this. So I have a few colors. I like to use traditional Aluta colors, red, black, and white, um, but you could use whatever colors you want. I might actually add blue in mine too because I also like blue. I can't find my blue. So let's use my red and black right now. All right, so I think I'm going to make the eyes. Um, actually, I'll make the eyes purple. Remember, you can add your own creativity into this. So I'm going to color this eye purple. Oh, thing look. Here's another. Mal look. Why in Alaska? Krasichulugi. All right, next, Kangaka. This one, I want my nose to be red, so I'm going to color this guy red. Remember, you can use any colors that you have. You can use paint, you can use markers, you can use pens, you can use crayons, you can use whatever you want. You want to get fancy and use fancy pants, you can use that. That one is red. Next, where did my mouth go? All right, and there is our mouth. Konka. Konka. Hwai konka. All right, and let's color that one. Let's color it green. How about green? All right, hwai kanka. Hwai ingalachka. Hwai kangaka. Hwai kanka. All right, next, let's attach the mask to the string so we can wear it on our faces. So this part, I'm going to ask that you use a adult when you help when they help you or use a hole punch if you have one. I do not have a hole punch, so I'm just going to be using scissors. Um, so I'm just going to stab into the sides, make sure it's even. And I like to make sure that it goes through the plate um, just so it doesn't rip through the actual paper. All right. So what I did is folded the plate and then I cut a little slit in it so that it opens up into a hole, just like that. And then the other side, trying to make sure they are even, then you cut the other side just like that way. All right, now we're going to cut this to make sure it measures our head. So we're going to go around here like this, just like that. So. That's about what I would need for my head. So I'm going to cut that off a little bit extra just to make sure that I can tie it around. What I'm going to do is stick the string through um, the little hole that I made on the side. 
my string is through on one side. Now I'm going to string it through the other side. All right, and now we're going to tie. I think that will be big enough for my head. Tie it. All right, that's tied, and then we're going to tie the other side. All right, and now you can wear your mask. Um, you can attach it with string. You can attach it with um, glue, you can attach it with dental floss, different types of things um, that are strings. You can make it into hina hlak. Hwai hina hlak. Hwai hina hlak. Hwai hina hlak. Here is my mask. Hwai inga lakka. Hwai kangaka. Hwai kangka. All right. Thank you, everybody, for um, coming on and watching this video. I hope you guys made a beautiful mask. I hope you have an awesome time with this. If you have siblings, if you have friends, make sure and have them do this with you as well because it's a lot of fun, and then you guys can wear elliptic masks. All right, I hope you guys are staying well, staying safe, and I hope to get see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.